Good evening, I'm Miss Emily from the Rockport Library, and I'm here to share a bedtime story. This week we'll be reading The Boy in the Blue Moon by Sarah O'Leary, illustrated by Ashley Crowley. The Boy and the Blue Moon. On the night of the blue moon, a boy and his cat went for a walk. Inside their house, the light was warm and yellow, but outside it was blue and magical. On the night of the blue moon, anything can happen, said the boy. Cat and his boy walked through the bluebells toward the forest. A hundred thousand tiny bells were ringing out a song that no one had ever heard before. The trees of the forest were blue as well, and somewhere high in the branches, something was singing. It might have been birds, or it might have been dragons. The path through the forest was as familiar to the boy as any room in his own house, but tonight it was different. A lake appeared where there had never been a lake before. It was deep and blue, a very deep, deep blue. The waves made a little lapping sound on the shore that was somehow part of the same song the boy had been hearing since he left the house. The cat ran ahead and the boy followed. There was a boat at the edge of the lake, so they jumped right in. In the middle of the lake was a second moon, shimmering and shining. The boy steered the boat toward it. Never had the moon seemed so within his reach. Wish, wish, said the waves, lapping the side of the boat. As the boy rowed closer and closer, he wished that he could go to the moon. This was a wish he'd made many times before. He'd thought about living on the moon while lying in his bed and reading his books. He'd gazed out the window and imagined what that life would be like. But tonight he wished extra hard, and the cat wished too. The little boat was suddenly bathed in a wash of light that swirled them round and round, and the boy took his cat in his arms. Down and down they went, but somehow the whole time they were traveling down, they were also traveling up. When everything stopped, they were on the moon, which was exactly how the boy, exactly as the boy had always known it would be. Perfect. They ran and jumped and tumbled and flew. The boy collected moon rocks and skipped them through the air, counting as they flew. One, two, three, and on and on. We could stay here forever, said the boy. We could make a new life on the moon. But as he was thinking how perfect it would be, he looked out into the darkness and thought of home. He shivered, and he tried not to think of how lonely it was to be out here in the deep darkness of space. The boy looked and looked and thought he could see the yellow porch light twinkling, but perhaps it was just a star. He took his cat in his arms, and together they dove into the dark, down and down, until they could see the earth ahead of them. The earth is blue, said the boy. A blue planet. Soon they saw the lights of home and as quick as a wish they were safe and warm in their own bed.
When the boy awoke the next morning, he remembered everything. On the night of the blue moon, anything can happen, he said to the cat. And sometimes it does. Good night, friends.